What's going on everybody? It's your boy JPAT back again with another video. Today, a fantasy football video. Yesterday I did my $400 first place fantasy league. This is the second year that we've done this. Last year it was for $200. We bumped it up to $400. So it's a $40 entry and then $400 goes to first place and we did our draft. I, I I like my I like my picks. I like my picks. I'm gonna kinda go through my thought process and my picks and just kinda overall how I feel about the team and if I wanna make any moves coming up. But uh before I start the video, hit that like button, hit that sub button, baby. On the road to three hundred. I know we can do it. I know we can do it, but uh let's just get right into the video. So of course I get the tenth pick. I had a feeling like I don't know, I thought I was gonna get the first pick. Like I had a weird feeling that I was gonna get the first pick, which I didn't want the first pick. Like CMC would be great. I didn't really want the first pick because then you're waiting forever until you get to pick again. So I got the tenth pick. It's not terrible. I, I would have rather had like a like a seven to nine range, but like, I didn't really know what, like, because they give you the, the order an hour before, and I didn't really know who's going to be available at number 10. That could be a lot of different people. Um, but my strategy really was I kind of wanted to get a wide receiver in the first round just because of how many top receivers there are. And then I, I kind of wanted to get a receiver or a running back in at least the, at least the first uh, two rounds. So I got, so obviously CMC goes one. Brees Hall too. So like the first round was there wasn't really many surprises. CeeDee Lamb, CeeDee Lamb three, Jamar Chase, Tyree Kill, um, Saquon. So Saquon actually went above Bijan. I think in a lot of the pro the pro the professional analyst rankings, Bijan is, is above Saquon. Um I'm not too mad about that if I'm the guy who picked Saquon. Amon Ra, Justin Jefferson, which I probably would have gone Amon Ra. Or, or Justin Jefferson if they were available for me. But I had A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown was was the best available receiver, in my opinion, left. Um, I, I could have picked Garrett Wilson. I could have picked Puka Nakua. I, I like A.J. Brown, though. I think that offense is super explosive, and they like to go deep a lot. And A.J. Brown is super, you know, physical, big guy. He's going to get a lot of, a lot of, a lot of um, targets. I picked A.J. Brown. And then the best running back available, I was it was kind of debating between Jameer Gibbs and, and Jonathan Taylor, um, which this was a tough one for me. I, I think I, I like Jameer Gibbs a lot, especially in that offense with that offensive line. And I just love I just love the potential that he has. I don't know what it was. I just something something pulled me to Jonathan Taylor, man. Something told me that they're gonna run the ball a lot. Um, hopefully, he can have a similar season to twenty twenty one. Which I don't know if that's gonna happen, but so I'm not I'm not mad about the Jonathan Taylor pick. Derrick Henry goes right after. Um, nothing really too crazy. You got Jordan Love going in round two. Uh, Pacheco in round two. Kelsey actually went round two. I think that was a bit high for for Kelsey, in my opinion. In my opinion, that's a little high. And then and then Devonte Adams goes also round two. Um. Nothing too crazy. Stephon Diggs goes before. Stephon Diggs goes before Nico Collins. I don't know if I. I don't know how I feel about that. At this point, going into round three, I have a top receiver and a top running back. So now it's kind of just filling out whoever is the best available player. I go and pick up Drake London. I've heard great things about that that new Atlanta offense, that new that new coach, the new coach, just the new offense in general. And then I kind of was choosing between Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel. I don't know. It's kind of a 50-50 for me. I think Debo is just better with the ball in his hands. But I think Brandon is a better route runner. But, I mean, I, I don't know. He got his contract. Maybe he's in good spirits. Maybe he's going to have a great fucking season, hopefully, for me, you know. So at this point in the draft, I got three top receivers, in my opinion. Now it's kind of getting that second running back to fill out the, the starting lineup because you don't want to wait too long with how thin the running back room is or how thin the running backs are this year. So I picked up DeAndre Swift, which that's kind of one of those where it's like DeAndre Swift was like, I don't know why he's ranked so low and probably because he's with the Bears, but he had a great year last year with the Eagles. I had him last year in fantasy too. And it's kind of one of those things where it's like you hope he has that same production, but 
you know, the Bears offensive line is a lot different than that Eagles offensive line. So that's kind of that's kind of just you pray. You pray that he has a similar year to last year. He was he was getting me hella points last year. Yeah, so I picked I picked DeAndre Swift. Then I got Trey McBride, who's I think the number three ranked tight end. So I got a top tier tight end. I've heard great things about him in that Arizona offense, and I've heard that he's going to be a great, great player. So I got a top tight end. Now some quarterbacks starting to go off the board. I'm still want I still want to be patient on the quarterback room, and then I go ahead. Keenan Allen, Keenan Allen. Yes, he's getting a little older. Yes, he's in an offense that no one's really seen play play together, and it, it could go two ways. It could go he, they surprise everyone, and their offense is clicking like the Texans were last year. Or there's a lot of chemistry issues and Ken Allen's getting hurt because he's old. There's a, there's, a, there's a couple of different ways, but he's on my bench. He's on my bench. He's, he's probably not going to be in the starting lineup in the first couple of weeks. So that's just one of those, like, his, 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 his ceiling is so high that you're drafting him on his ceiling, not, not his floor, you know. And then, I, and then I go ahead and pick Dak in the eighth round. I think probably could have waited to get a, a quarterback in the later round, but... I wanted to get Jack Prescott. I actually wanted Anthony Richardson. I, I I was on stream and I was like, watch this guy get Anthony Richardson. And, and sure enough, he got fucking Anthony Richardson right before I wanted him. But Dak Prescott's not a bad quarterback to have in fantasy. He'll be my starting quarterback pretty much all year. Um, obviously, once he goes on his bye week, then he won't be. So at this point, I have, I think my whole starting lineup is filled. So now it's just getting, you know, uh, getting my bench my bench ready and, and i'm kind of picked a lot of receivers on my bench and i might use those towards some uh some trade assets so i got jackson smith and jigba and rome adunze i heard rome adunze is a good a good a good one to pick because of his um his potential and one of those top receivers in in chicago goes down with the injury adunze is going to be um the guy to fill the role so that, that's going to be big for me so I got Romeo Dunze, and that now it's basically yeah, I just fill in the defense. There was really no, there's like no running backs in in round eight and on. Like it's it's so thin. I had to pick up Ty J Spears. I don't even know if he's a number one in, in Tennessee. I got Marquise Brown. That's one of those like you're drafting him on like hoping that when he's healthy, he could turn out to be a huge threat for us. Um, I think I think I think Patrick's gonna look more towards. Rasheed Rice and Kelsey are the number one receivers, but I think if Marquise Brown is healthy, full strength, and they form a chemistry, then the sky's the limit, you know? All right, and then I go with Chase Brown. Like I said, this is one of those just like I've heard his name and I, I've seen it, I've seen his name on like fantasy leagues, you know. Then I got Khalil Shakir, the number, number one receiver in Buffalo. This could actually turn out to be like a really underrated pick, I feel like. This could be like one of those like wow like no one saw this coming. This could be like a Puka Nakua type situation. I hope, man. I'm happy with it, man. I'm happy with it. You got Dak at QB. You got Jonathan Taylor and DeAndre Swift. Whew, that DeAndre Swift. Now that I'm looking back at it, might have been a bad move. I don't know. I like him a lot. I just don't know about that Chicago offensive line. That, that's what I'm kind of like scared of, you know. AJ Brown is gonna do good this year. Drake London, Trent McBride, Ayuk. Hopefully, he doesn't come up, go off to a slow start, considering he didn't play a lot in the in the, in the preseason. Area. I don't think he. I think he was holding out all preseason and training camp. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be uh, looking at making some trades. Um, maybe for a running back because I have a lot of good trade assets. You know, people need receivers. I have I have a, a low a butt load a boatload a boatload of receivers. Hey man, my girls in this league. We do this for fun. We're, we're, we we let the money, you know. It's four hundred dollars. Like, woo! Last year I did really bad. Last year, I, I mean, if you guys remember, I was fucking like last place in the league. Hey, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's like a yearly fantasy league. I think I did a pretty good. I just I didn't want the pick ten, man. I wanted like a pick three to eight range. That that range, you know. I didn't want pick one. I didn't want pick two. I want that pick three to eight range. That way you can get a top tier receiver. Or running back, like top, top tier. I'm talking top of the top, top of the tippity top. But it didn't happen, you know. Life, life throws you lemons. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give them some lemonade, you know. But uh, we'll see what happens. It has potential. It has potential. You cannot doubt it. If all these players play at the at their top, you know, at their ceiling, then this is this is a winning a winning league team, you know. And obviously, I'm gonna make some trades. Gonna pick up some guys on waivers. So it's not gonna look like this all the time. 
or all year but uh what do you guys think about this team let me know down in the comment section below now make sure you guys hit that like button hit that sub button daily nfl not daily weekly nfl videos football videos from now on football season is around the corner i am so i've been excited for like the last three weeks we got fantasy you got football every week college back on baseball playoffs coming up NBA will be here in no time. This is just like the beautiful time. Falls come, it's gonna get colder. Like this is just a beautiful time for sports, and and I'm looking forward to it. The Chiefs playing like three days, so um, the three P is uh starts 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 Thursday. So uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that sub button. I'll see you next time, baby. Peace.